My name is Stephen Kennedy, and I'm a radiologist and nuclear medicine physician here at BayCare. A physician would order a PET-CT scan as a way of determining how to treat a patient. A PET-CT scan is a tool, like any other imaging tool that we use, and a PET-CT scan would be used to, for example, determine if the patient has a cancer or not. Another use of a PET-CT scanner is to determine whether cancer that a person has has spread or metastasized to different organs in the body. Another use of a PET-CT scanner is if the patient has a known cancer and is under treatment. Is the treatment effective? Is the tumor shrinking? Has the tumor resolved? The major use of PET-CT scan is in oncology, but there's also uses in neurology, looking at the brain, studying the brain. For example, it's used to look for types of dementia like Alzheimer's disease or other types of dementia, differentiating one type of dementia from another, which is very important for your physician to determine a treatment plan for different types of dementia. Also, it's being used more and more for other types of neurologic conditions, such as Parkinson's disease. A PET-CT works by first injecting you with some radioactive sugar. It's a radioactive sugar analog that flows throughout your body. Then you're put in a CT scanner, and the CT scanner scans you. And then within that machine, as well as a nuclear medicine camera, which detects where the activity has ended up in your body. And those two images are fused together to produce fused images that I use to interpret. So the CT gives me what you, we would call anatomic data. It tells me what the organs look like, what they're shaped like, are they in the right location, do they look normal or do they look abnormal. The PET portion of the study is a more physiology, how the organs are functioning. Are they functioning normally? Do they take up the activity in a normal way or are they abnormal? So the combination of the anatomy and physiology makes PET-CT scan an enormously helpful tool. What I'm looking for is how that radioactive sugar analog that we injected has distributed itself in, in, in the body. I'm looking for normal and abnormal structures. And that if there is any abnormal activity, whether that is a tumor or not. PET-CT scans are very accurate. Nothing's 100%, of course. But PET-CT scan, because it combines two sets of data, is actually better in a lot of ways than a CT alone and better than a PET scan alone. Some things the patient should consider when choosing a facility to have their PET-CT scan performed. Well, first and foremost, you need to take the advice of your referring physician where he or she is comfortable sending you for this PET-CT scan. Uh, the other thing that you should consider is the facility itself. The facilities are usually accredited, so you, look, you want to look for an accredited facility and you want to look for a facility where the interpreting physicians are board certified physicians. All of our facilities, our PET scan facilities at BayCare, are accredited with board certified physicians.